What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome all my new subscribers. I want to take a second and thank each and every single one of you guys out there. You guys are all awesome and I appreciate all the love and support I get on the channel. Thank you guys. Uh, in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the Max Shine, aka Shine Master, M21 Pro Dual Action Polisher. As you guys know that follow my channel, if you don't, I have the Max Shine M15 Pro Series 2, and I absolutely love it. But I have been in the market for a 21 millimeter long throw just to get a little bit faster defect removal. Not that you can't achieve defect removal with a short throw or even a 15 millimeter. Yes, you can definitely achieve the same results. However, I just want to achieve those results a little bit faster. So, um,. I contacted Max Shine. Huge, huge shout, shout out to uh, Tristan and all the Max Shine crew. They're absolutely fantastic, guys. I mean, the customer support and service that I get from them is awesome. Fantastic. You can't beat it. I've said this before in my past videos. You could have the best product in the world, but if your customer service and support sucks, I don't want to deal with it. So, thank you once again, Tristan, Max Shine, all you guys. I appreciate you guys working you know working out this polisher with me it's not a sponsored video guys i did pay for this uh but i just wanted to say thank you to them because um we talked back and forth me and tristan been talking back and forth uh for a while about about this and how i wanted to add it to my arsenal i wanted to buy this before i bought my g21 but i ordered the g21 a long time ago so i was kind of committed i wanted to get that before i i uh you know bought this so i have not unboxed this it's been killing me it's been sitting in my in my uh kitchen on the counter <laughs> uh just waiting for me to unbox it so let's go ahead and peel the little seal off here see what you guys get all right one thing i love about max shine is sorry about that guys Really nice carrying bag that it comes in. Oh, got a sticker. Boom. See that? 10 horsepower, guys. So, really nice carrying bag that it comes with. I'm excited. It's got your tote bag. God, I've got so many of these already. It's got your tote bag. It's got your, your D handle. Um, I don't want to go too much in depth with this stuff, but it's got your um, your screws, um, your brushes, um, a little bit of grease in there, the warranty card, stuff like that. All the necessities to maintain it uh, throughout the uh, life of the polisher. Let's see. Yep, brushes. Few different screws to connect the D handle. Um, this one didn't come with a washer mod though. Oh, there it is. I found it. Comes with a little washer mod you put on your back plate. We'll see how we like it and if we need it, we'll add that. But yep, got your cool little tote bag. Really been excited to, to try this thing out. And then you got your polisher here the M21 Pro. All right, let's have a look at this thing. Very nice. Looks, they look pretty much similar to the M15 Pro. Let's get this bag down here. Looks very similar to the M15 Pro uh, as far as body and shape wise. Uh, this packs the 1000 watt motor. Pretty good free play. Back plate looks a little wobbly, but that's all right. I've got a five inch back plate. We're gonna be swapping on this as well uh, that I got from Max Shine. And I'll probably, uh, it looks pretty close to the back plate. So I'll probably do the washer mod as well, just for shits and giggles. But it does have the slow start, which I personally like. Um, so um, it's got the nice responsive clicks on the trigger. What I like about this is it's got halves. 
You can go one and a half, two, two and a half, three. I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's pretty intuitive. It's, it's, it's much more, um, you can feel it much more than my M15 Pro for sure. But it is what it is. It's got the nice uh, support here on the back. So when you set it down, it's, it stays up. Nice uh, double shot rubber head. Steam looks very sturdy. I'm very excited to use this, guys, and compare it to the last polisher that I was disappointed in. So with that being said, I'm gonna get the test hood set up. We're gonna throw a few pads on there. I've got a few six inch pads, uh, orange foam pad, my Meguiar's uh, microfiber pad, and a Griot's fast finishing pad. We're gonna throw these on there, see how it runs, and then I'm gonna swap the five inch back plate on there and we're gonna throw some five inch pads on there and uh, see how we like it. All right, everybody. So, got the test hood set up and wiped off. I'm gonna be starting with the orange foam pad. I'll be using 3D1. The only reason I always use this in my tests is because I have a gigantic bottle, guys, so that's all right. Now we're gonna run through uh, speed one through five, I mean one through six, and, uh, and then we'll play around with it and, and, and see how we like it with the foam pad. Just put a few little drops on there like that. Nothing too serious. All right, so Max Shine M21 Pro. We're gonna start at speed one. Not bad, not bad. Definitely has plenty of power and you can definitely get it to stall. If you're paying attention, I've got this little uh, marker here uh, on the side. It lets you know when the back plate's not spinning. So that's what you pay attention to when you're polishing. Uh, but I had to put a really angle on it and put a lot of pressure on it to get it to stall. And that's on speed four and a half. Uh, actually, that was five. And that's, that's honestly a lot of power for me. Honestly, four and a half would probably be plenty. Not bad, not bad. Go ahead and wipe this off. Not bad. I don't think I had enough, uh, <laughs> I don't think I had enough on the pad. You can definitely feel it start to kind of dry up. Kind of starts hopping around a little bit. Not bad, not bad. Really does have a lot of power. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch pads. Now we're gonna switch to the Griot's uh, fast finishing pad. 
I said, as soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to swap the five inch back plate that I have and we're gonna, we're gonna see how we like it, so. Put a little product here on the microfiber fast finishing pad from Griot's. We're gonna stick to around speed four. Much better than the last unit I had. Much better in terms of vibration. It does get a little bit of vibration, but as soon as you apply a little bit of pressure, as soon as you apply just that little bit of pressure down, it smooths out. Not bad, not bad. So, last but not least, let's try the Meguiar's, Meguiar's uh, microfiber cutting pad. All right. Let's wipe this off real quick. Oh, and by the way, I'm not following any kind of uh, routine here as far as like a <laughs> pattern for polishing. <laughs> I'm just literally playing around on my test hood, having fun. I'm not looking to do any kind of perfection on the paint at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and, ooh. So a few dots on there. Smear that out a little bit. One quick note, uh, I noticed this on my M15 Pro too, as well as M21. The only thing I'd like to see is this vent right here. That's right where I hold my hand to polish and it's it's blowing hot air right out of here. So you gotta kind of keep your hand away from it to let it vent out. It's the only thing I'd change on this. Uh, and uh, Tristan, guys, if you're watching, don't take that personal, but I'd like to see this vent here, maybe somewhere on the bottom down here, somewhere where you can vent it out other than right into your hand you know what i mean i mean it's not a huge deal it just over time you can feel that hot air blasting against your hand
All right, not bad. A little bit of vibration, but nothing, not, nothing extravagant. Nothing extravagant at all. So let's go ahead and I'm going to swap the back plate on this thing. And we're going to come back and we're going to try it with the five inch back plate, which is right here. We're going to try it with this right here and we're going to play around with some five inch pads and see how we like it. All right, everybody, I went ahead and swapped over to my five inch back plate. It's much smaller. I'm, I really prefer the five inch back plate, guys. I, I will never probably use a six inch back plate. Um, so I've got my five inch plate on here. Still got some decent free spin. Uh, I did not washer mod it because I wanted to keep it for the sake of the video. But I can see here that it is a pretty close to that shroud. So I'm going to end up washer modding it, but for the sake of the video, we're going to leave it off for now. I got my Eurofiber pad. I'm going to put a few drops on here. Let's play around with the five inch and let's see what we got here. Uh, I'm going to stick to uh, around speed four and we're just going to play around. Oh, I'm in love, guys. I'm in love. Fantastic. That is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic, guys. Exactly what I'm looking for. Wipe this off real quick. I'll tell you what, man. This hood is going to be looking fresh with all the polishing we're doing on it. That's all right. That's all right. All right. Let's switch over to my yellow Rupes pad. Pads I use... Most of the time. Perfect. Now let's see what we can do with this thing. Three little dots. Sorry this video is a little bit longer, guys. I'll try to speed it up for you, but...
not bad. A little bit of wobble. A little bit of wobble with the Roops pad. It may not like the overall diameter of that pad. But, like I said, I mainly wanted this for cutting. And I'm going to be either usually cutting with either a Eurofiber or a Microfiber pad. So, absolutely fantastic. I'm going to wipe this off. Let's jump into some final thoughts. And right now, even after that, it is barely lukewarm. Barely. I mean, barely warm at all. So, that's... That's good. All right. Let's get this wiped off and go to some final thoughts. All right, everybody. We are at the final thoughts segment on the Max Shine M21 Pro. All right. So let's talk about let's talk about the pros. Um, absolutely fantastic with the six-inch pads. Little bit of little bit wobbly with the with the foam pad on the six inch back plate uh but nothing astronomical uh, the real test here was the mcguire's microfiber pad and the fast finishing pad as you guys all know um that didn't sit well with me with my g21 so that was a reckoning for picking up an m21 pro um i did Switched the back plates, so I got rid of the six inch back plate and I went to a five inch back plate, which I prefer on all my machines. Um, starting out with the Eurofiber pad, it's butter, baby. It is butter. And for the, that's what I bought the M21 Pro for. Uh, I wanted a 21 millimeter for cutting. Now, when it comes to foam, um, although that the foam, it didn't like the Rupes pad at all. I have some Action pads, but I didn't want to go through 20 different pads just for um, a video. I'm sorry, guys, but in the future when I use it and I throw the Action pads on there, I will definitely give you my feedback then. I uh, didn't like the, the Rupes pad, but this on my M15 Pro is what I'll be using uh, for finishing. So M21 Pro is for cutting. My, my M15 Pro... Series 2 is for finishing. So, yes, it was a little wobbly with the Rupes pad, I'm not gonna lie, but that's all right, because I'm not gonna have the Rupes pad on that thing. I'm gonna be either having a microfiber cutting pad or my Eurofiber pad. And I can tell you right now, it is butter, baby. This is the combo. Now I can see why Brian with Apex loves his M21 with the five inch back plate with the Eurofiber pad. Butter, baby. Let's talk about power. It's got plenty of power, plenty of power. Speed moves up with each dial, each click, it goes up. Uh, just plenty of power. Yes, you can get it to stall. As you can see, I was getting it up on the edge and you can get it to stall. Yeah, that's fine. Um, speed four, four, four and a half. Really, that's that's all you that's all you really need. Um, I, I found five, five and a half, six. I mean, plenty of power there, but you're not gonna need that at all. Um, very nice unit. Uh, and after after I used it, it's just lukewarm. It's nothing nothing too hot at all, which was another reason why uh, G21. Why I wasn't too fond of that because it got really hot. Let's see. I absolutely love it, guys. I love it. It's everything I could ask for in a polisher. Yes, guys. I know there's gonna be out there. Man, get a Rupes. Just get a Rupes. I can't afford a five hundred dollar polisher, guys. That's where. The M21 Pro sits at $219.99. Fantastic price for what you get, honestly. Um, and I love it with the five inch back plate. It is, it's right, it's, it's exactly what I was looking for. There's guys out there, guys, I know. There's gonna be people in here, you should've got a Rupes, you should've got this. Well, you know what? That's fine, you have your opinion. I don't knock and I don't say that Rupes is not, not a good machine, but it's just not in my price range. And this fit me perfectly, guys. So those of you out there that are looking to getting into polishing, uh, maybe the weekend warrior enthusiast that wants to take care of his car, take care of his family and friends' cars, do a little here, dabbling here and there and there, you know, having fun. 220 bucks, fantastic machine. And also, the customer service and support comes with it, man. That's a big deal for me. And once again, I wanna thank Tristan and the Max Shine crew uh, for, for talking with me and and getting me set up to, to buy this stuff. I didn't have to do anything. He pretty much did everything, sent me the link, 
and I ordered it and I appreciate that a lot. That goes a long way with me, trust me. So I'm very excited, definite two thumbs up. Like I said, the only con for me really is that vent. Uh, and I noticed that on my M15 Pro. If for some reason they could change the vent design to where it's not right over your hand, that would make this machine just that much better. It's not a big game breaker for me, guys. Like, it's not a deal breaker. It's not going to make me say, oh, this, this machine isn't good because the vent is in the wrong place. It's just something that they can take into research and development when they come out with their new M21 Pro if they do in the future. That may be something that they could uh, take into consideration. Um, don't know what else to say, guys. Fantastic unit. I'm happy. I'm absolutely pleased. And it did a fantastic job. Um, yes, it was a little bit wobbly with the Rupes pad, but it may... Uh, it may not, it may just be too much of pad for the five inch plate, I don't know. But that's not what I'm concerned about because what I bought it for, it's working perfectly with and it's fantastic. I will be doing the washer mod. I will be swapping out the grease with my own grease as I do with all my polishers. Um, yeah, two thumbs up guys. Maxine M21 Pro, fantastic product for me. I'm excited. Hopefully you guys out there enjoyed this video. Um, if you did enjoy this video, these type of videos, please consider hitting the subscribe button, smashing that thumbs up and click that little notification bell. That way when I do more videos, reviews, details, polishes, paint corrections, anything car related, you guys get notified. And I also want to mention, I always forget to mention this, so I've been trying to tell myself I need to mention it. If you guys have Instagram, hop on Instagram and follow me at papasmurf918detail on Instagram. That way you guys get inside scoops throughout the week for what's coming up on the weekend. A lot of stuff I don't really put on YouTube that I can't post on YouTube is on Instagram. So if you guys do have Instagram, that's a good way to get an inside scoop. So head over there and follow me there as well. Um, I'll wrap it up. I want to say thank you to each and every single one of you guys for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos and support the channel. You guys rock. I hope you guys all out there have a fantastic day, night, evening, whatever it is where you're at right now watching this video. And I will catch you guys all on the next video.